Now, Jessica? Well, Sean, these parents are clearly overjoyed to have their children back, but during the course of the police search for their sons, they made a request for dog teams. And while they got a happy ending, what they learned is a lesson for all parents. Hey, we found the keys, guys. There is no sweeter feeling than holding children once lost, now found. I have no words to say it. I'm very happy. Five and a half hours after they were reported missing from their Beltsville home, seven-year-old Xavier and eight-year-old Louise Plaitez were brought home by a neighbor who saw their pictures on Fox 5. Prince George's County Police searched by foot and by air, but the boy's father wonders if they would have been discovered sooner had Prince George's County Police heeded his early request for a canine team. I felt terrible. I didn't say anything, but it was in my heart, I said, wow. We, we, we're worthless. He's not the only one. Six PG County police officers told Fox 5 they asked for canine teams too. They claimed they were turned down because it would require overtime. It's no secret that the county's financial times are tight. I know there have been certain cuts in overtime uh, and certain overtime projects. Um, however, I do believe that there is overtime that is available for officers uh, depending on what the circumstances are and what the event is that's taking place. But Chief Melvin Hyde denies cost had any bearing on his officers' decisions. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. According to the police department's own procedures, canine teams are supposed to provide 24-hour coverage. Police must ensure a thorough search in the case of missing persons, and when it's a critical case like this one, they can request additional personnel and equipment. It's now got the police chief asking some questions of his own. I don't know that to be the case. Um, I Certainly that was brought to my attention as something that I'm looking at. I don't want to think that this happens and it's depressing. I, I'm very disappointed. Police sources tell Fox 5 only one canine team was available last night, and we understand the dog was not trained to track humans. That means another team would have had to be called in, but after working the story all day, it is still unclear why that was not done. Sean? A lot of